guys, welcome back. I'm Cheeks, and today we're going to be doing a video on uh, how to play Rust without an internet connection. And as you can see, I do I'm not connected. And I'm going to show you how to do that today. So first, the first thing you want to do is go to your uh, your file location, and that'll be in local disk C under Games. You'll see two folders: Rust Server and Rust Client. And by the way, guys, this is from the Pirate Bay, so um, it might not be the same if you bought it. So that's just a uh, fair warning there. Um, first thing you want to do is go to Server, Rust Server. Don't click the application file because that'll pop up with the actual game itself and the command prompt. You just want the command prompt. So uh, you just hit Run Server uh, on the batch file. It'll come up with the uh, command prompt whatever you want to call this thing um, and then you'll wait for it a little bit to uh, load up everything and it'll do all of this on its own you don't have to worry about typing anything and this is uh, what you gotta do for uh, normal <coughs> if, you, if you have an internet connection you can do this as well but there's certain things that you gotta do uh, like plugins and stuff I'm not sure how to do that I'm just showing you guys a tutorial on how to um, basically play single player Okay, so now you can see it says Steam server connected, and I'm not running Steam, um, but it loaded the island, the Rust Island 2013, um, and it's ready to be played on. So uh, we're going to minimize that. <clears throat> and what you guys would normally do if you don't already have the game running, like I do, you'll go to your games again, and go to Client, and click Rust and uh, that will it takes a little bit of time to load up <clears throat> but you'll get there eventually okay so now I want to show you guys another thing on how to uh, you know get the graphics to if you have an older computer like I do well I mean it's not that old but the graphics aren't what I want it to be I'm using an HD 3000 graphics card with a uh, Intel Core i3 it's not great it's not a gaming laptop or anything but it can run this game if I have the settings down low and um, with this game there's only a few settings which is render quality, water, water reflection, and v-sync <clears throat> so I'm going to show you guys how to um, minimize lag in the game so first we're going to connect first we're going to connect to the server and uh, for that you're going to want to type net.connect c-o-n-n-e-c-t and then space 127.0.0.1 <clears throat> and after that you're going to want to put the port which is the uh, two uh, symbols like you're putting in the time so the two dots and then 28015 and that's the port for uh, basically everybody's connection unless you change your IP or unless you have an internet connection so that's always going to be 127.0.0.1 and then the port's going to be 28015 to connect. Then you just hit enter and it will tell us right, yeah, there we go, it's loading and now I will be right back because it takes a little bit to load, I'll be right back and then I'll show you guys how to uh, add in the information to slow down lag and have a good running game. okay guys we're back and after loading for a little bit we are back in the game <clears throat> so there are a couple things I want to show you guys before we start this is all the information you'll need to slow down the basically take out good graphics and make it you know the grass look kind of plain so um, if my thing will respond there we go so as you can see it's a little bit choppy we don't want that do we so what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit F1 and of course that opens up the command prompt <coughs> or the console sorry I don't know why I keep saying prompt um, so the first one we're gonna put in is uh, oh shit <coughs> grass on false and if you guys do this in notepad it's a lot easier than just typing all this so grass on false or grass dot on false will be the uh, the first the first thing you want to put in 
I don't have to be the first, but control V and it, you can see the graphics are uh, or the grass is starting to disappear. Force draw grass dot force draw false is the next one that I'm gonna use. We're gonna copy and uh, control on V there. And um, you can't really see a difference in that, but it does really help. So uh, grass displacement false. Gonna copy that. Paste it or not? What am I doing? Paste and um, I think that's depo deposition trail seconds one. Yeah, grass dot disp trail seconds one. We're gonna do that. Control V. And then the last but not least is GFX all false. And copy, paste. There. <coughs> So, um, we have now eliminated lag. I mean, of course, it's not going to look as good as it originally did, but you know what? It, would you rather play the game or deal with lag? And, of course, it's going to be laggy because you can tell I have all these programs running right now, and I'm recording at the same time. So, uh, you're going to see a little bit of uh, lag there. Why did it save all my stuff? And uh, one of the other ones is... Uh, inventory dot give player and then your player name and you can actually give yourself stuff and uh, you know I, I really was just messing around with this I was actually trying to delete the save file so that way I could start anew <clears throat> but I guess your player keeps all the inventory you have so um, yeah uh, so this is I hope this has been a you know a helpful tutorial and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, there will be more to come in the future of other gameplays of Rust. And, uh, I, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. And if you want to see more Rust, please leave a subscribe and a like. And I will see you guys in the next one. And like always, guys, I love you. Peace out.